Hi, I'm Michelle with Mystic Mood Shop, and I just wanted to give you guys a quick um, tutorial on how to measure a nose ring. A lot of people start out with studs, and they don't change out their studs until one day they decide they want a hoop, and they have absolutely no idea how to measure. <laughs> this is actually a millimeter ruler. Um, you can do it with a regular ruler, but it's not quite as accurate. Uh, and if you do it with a regular ruler, you can go onto Google and Google inches to millimeter conversion, and you'll get a table, a conversion table, that will tell you if you get a quarter of an inch or an eighth of an inch, it'll tell you what the millimeter is equivalent to. If you get a half size, go up. Uh, if you get like a nine and a half millimeter, go up to a 10. Uh, it'll give you a little bit more room, but not that much. I mean, a half a millimeter is about as thick as a hair. Uh, to measure a nose ring, you want to take wherever the hole is on your nose to the edge of the nose. And then, like I, where I put that, which is right about here, I would be about a 10 millimeter. Um, all piercing holes, holes are in a different place. Each piercer looks at a nose and puts a little dot and says, okay, this is where we're going to pierce it. And they usually ask you if you like that or not. Some of them are tiny. I mean, we have people that wear five millimeter hoops. We have people that wear 12 millimeter hoops. We do, by the way, do 12 millimeter hoops. Um, we don't have them listed, but we will do them for you if you need them. It's just not a really common size. So anyway, the other thing that's important when you're measuring is you want to determine where on your nose you want this ring to sit. So if you want it to kind of hang down, straight down, then you want to put it, put it here and measure here. If you want it kind of up on your nose and tight, you want to measure it here. That way you're getting the right measurement for where you want it to sit. If you get a big one where it hangs down, it's not going to sit up here. It's always going to drop down. And if you get a tiny one that sits up here, it's not going to drop down because it can't really go anywhere. You can, that, that right there, that measurement, is the smallest nose ring you can wear. You go up from there. If you want one that has a little bit more room to it, then you can go up to the next size or go up two sizes. But pretty much, if you measure from the piercing hole to the edge of the nose, that is the smallest millimeter you can wear. Um, I can't think of anything else that I wanted to add. I hope that explains everything pretty well. And if you have any questions, please email me, and uh, I'll answer whatever questions you've got. Thank you very much. Take care.